Libra, we'll now be exploring what we can learn about the connection and then any advice coming up around you. Okay, so we have the strength. Okay, Libra, you're coming up as the sword. You're coming up as the nine of swords. And straight away, I'm inclined to believe that there's a lot of uncertainty around this connection. I do believe it's going to be a strong connection. You've got the strength card here. Um, an infinity symbol can be symbolic of a forever. Okay, so of a forever living uh, uh, together or potentially, you know, you've got the marriage card, which is the hierophant. Even though it's uh, the other way around, it's reversed. Um, it, it could be a relationship that has the potential to result in marriage. Uh, but I think that's going to be, I think that's a bit too far to look at it at this point. I think in terms of the relationship, Hierophant can represent faith, values, etc. Um, there's going to be a dip here. So I sense there's going to be differences between your culture, um, your language, your values, things that you want out of a relationship are going to be much different for this person. And at times you'll feel like this is a little bit unsettled with the page of wands. I do think this person is wanting love and wanting commitment, but when it actually comes to executing it in the real world, um, they could become fearful and they could become scared. If it's not them, it's you actually, Libra. You might be fearful of entering this connection. I don't know if a part of you will feel like you'll be losing your freedom or a part of you will feel like you're two very different people. I do think you come from different worlds. And I sort of touched on that in the general when I said with the three of ones, it's like this person is very alternative or has a very particular background in some aspect. Uh, and I say that because we see the maiden and the lion and they are opposite. This is chalk and cheese, Libra. So there's a lot of differences here. Um, and you'll have to gauge if there's more differences than similarities because the maiden is is the uh is is soft is is gentle is caring is is compassionate is non-aggressive and then we see the lion which is uh you know undomesticated it's wild it's unpredictable it's carnal and they couldn't be more opposite but yet in this in this image it looks like they they give each other something um you know, the, the, the lion gives her companionship and she gives the lion affection. So I don't know which one you're going to be identifying as Libra, but you might notice this distinction between the both of you. Um, so I do think you're, gonna, you're two very different people. You are. Can you make it work? I think you can give each other something you both want and need, whether you're aware of it now. Um, and I think there's a possibility for this to become very serious. But I worry that the differences in values, there's something that's not going to align here for you. And, and it'll stress you out. It'll take you to an anxious place. You've come up as the Nine of Swords. Libra, I'm wondering, I don't know if this is loneliness as well, because you can see he's figured by himself. The Page of Wands is here, and he can often represent things like travel and moving on quickly. So I don't know if um, uh, there's potential for this to be like a long distance thing. And that long distance connection may at times leave you lonely. So you might be apart from this person. Now it could be temporary. It could be permanent. Um, but that'll be that'll be what comes up for you. There's keys here and keys can indicate like moving in together. Uh, the keys to a home. So there is possibility for some of you to move in with someone here. Uh, or to share an asset together as well. But in terms of the nature of the relationship, the Hierophant, this is respect and idol and admiration. The monks look up to the Hierophant normally when he's upright, but he's upside down here. So the monks don't give the respect or the attention to the Hierophant as they normally should. So there's, there's something about respect and attention uh, in this connection somehow. It's reversed Libra. So if it's not you... Uh, devoting time and giving this person respect it's like I wouldn't say it's um, condescending uh, I would just say the monks don't appreciate the hierophant when he's reversed 
So there's potentially lack of appreciation. But look, the fact that the Taurus has the Taurus energy has come up at all. You've got Taurus and Leo around this connection. Taurus is ruled by Venus. So this is a very romantic, could be a very romantic at times relationship. Taurus is also a, 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 a symbol of sensuality. So for a lot of you, you might have a very strong intimate connection with each other. You know, you've got the lion. Lion's very carnal, very lustful. So there's a lot of sexual chemistry. Uh, and you will build a bond and, and closeness because of that. Um, but I worry that with the hangman, this person being upside down, the hierophant being upside down, I don't know if there's something here that's going to bother you. Now, if this isn't you as the Nine of Swords Libra, um, it could be that the relationship, there's, there's often a lot of things that are left unsaid and that you'll sort of go to bed with. So I think communication could be an important thing here for the both of you. Because this is like things playing on our mind. You know, it could even be like obsession. The two of you could grow to become very obsessed with each other. Each other's words, each other's actions, each other's presence. Um, so it's, all, it's, it's important, I think, to have your own balance and, and interests uh, when it comes to this connection. Let's have a look. What's the advice for you, Libra? Okay, I'll pick four cards from the pile that fell. Libra, what's the advice for you? A new start is coming. Conclusions are within reach. The energy is, is gaining momentum. Okay, that was four cards. Emotions are running high. Okay, a new start is coming. So for a lot of you, this is a renewal, a new start with someone, a new moon. So definitely someone from the past. And it's sitting on the fact that Eight of Cups has never actually taken the steps to walk away. So there's a new beginning. There's a new opportunity to make things right again, Libra. So for those of you that have been waiting to undergo this opportunity, this can happen for you. Okay. Um, new moon, new beginnings, clean slates, renewals. So a lot of newness um, in this relationship or a new way of doing things. I think this is more pertaining to the, those who have a history with this person. But we see a new moon and then right next to it we have full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. Okay, so this is a beginning and this is an ending. For some of you Librans, you'll attempt, you'll, you'll have a relationship here. Um, but you might conclude it. Conclusions are within reach. There's an ending here. You might, I do feel like you're going to be separated for one time or another from this person. Uh, and it was sitting upon the Hierophant. This uh, connection could be terminated because of different values. So unless you can learn to see eye to eye, unless you can get the Hierophant, the Hangman upright, um, and learn to see things. But it's hard because at Libra, if you don't want the same things, you, you oftentimes we can't force it on people. And likewise, people shouldn't be able to force things that they want on us if we're not ready. I think there's something to do with timing here. Also because the hangman is suspended in time. So I think there's something around timing or divine timing around this connection. Full moon can be endings. It's climaxes, it's peaks, okay? And conclusions are within reach. This could also be the fact that some of uh, you, um, I think it's more you, Libra, than them. I don't think that they're, they're quick to walk away from certain situations. It might be you. You might be quick to threaten or give ultimatums or to end things in this relationship. And I would say the advice is here is that when things get tough, don't just take the easy way out and conclude the relationship. Because that's it's available. Full moon indicates it's 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 a big idea. It's something that you'll always toy with. When something doesn't go right, you'll be like, okay, well, I want to end this, or this isn't going to work, or and I don't necessarily know if it's because you want them to, to to pursue you. If you need that validation to know that they still want you and and they're still invested, the reasons are going to vary as to why. But some of you could be. I mean, it could be them. I don't know. With the eight of cups. 
I just wonder for some of you if you're not going to make it work because of different values or traditions. If it's because of disrespect, like lack of respect, then absolutely you should conclude because you you know you, you deserve love and admiration and respect. Um, and if that's not there, then conclusions could be within reach. Okay, so there might be an ending because of that. Um, the energy is gaining momentum, though. What what I think of when I see this is that um, there's a lot of exaggeration in this relationship somehow. Energy is gaining momentum. That's usually a good thing. It's like a hype. It's an excitement. Um, but it could come in good and bad ways. So what I think is that if someone lies, it's an exaggerated lie. Um, when someone says they feel something, it's an exaggeration. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that everything this person says is going to be untrue. Um, or that you should do this. Um, I think it's, for the most part, I think that is positive. And it was sitting on top of the page of ones. So this can be excitement. You know, and you should allow yourself to feel excitement. But it's almost like when you gain momentum in something, you're just going to stick with that mood somehow. It's a waxing moons of uh, moons that build up. So it's something about building up. I don't know if this is like unrealistic expectations. Energy gaining momentum, building up something. Um the hangman is underneath as well, so I'm wondering if this is like um You punishing this person if they do something wrong or say something upsetting. You punishing them more than you should, um, like too much. I don't know. Maybe for some of you that could be the case. And then you have emotions are running high. Super moon, supercharged energy. This is a bit of a roller coaster. You know, the moon is super moon here. You've got the king of cups underneath. Um, you have the nine of swords. Libra, you're going to feel a lot of emotion. But you have to ask yourself, are you feeling more bad emotion or good emotion with this person do they give you more good than bad are they giving you the sleepless nights are you saying you know you don't feel like you can express yourself like your lift things are being left unsaid because this is thoughts but thoughts that are in the dark things that you're possibly keeping from them or things that you feel like you can't say and you're going to get a very emotional because of that libra and they will notice that and i think the advice here is Make sure you come into this relationship with a healthy, you know, with a healthy outlook. Because if you're sort of reminiscing on things from the past that this person did or that someone else has done to you, then that's definitely going to take you to a dark place. Um, I think the both of you might fall in love very quickly and become extremely attached to each other. So I think the message here is that you might need more independence um, between the both of you as well okay coming into this connection i will leave your reading at that so thank you again libra for tuning in i hope it's been helpful i wish you all the best and until next time bye for now